I just pulled them out of the oven. They're beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and let them rest on our on our plate. Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today. Today I have a steak video for you. I was at my supermarket. I came across beautiful, almost two inch thick New York strips. That's right, and they were beautiful. I shot all this earlier, but I lost it in my camera because my battery went dead, but the steaks are so good, I need to finish this video. So I took these New York strips, Pan seared them in my cast iron skillet, threw it in the oven, finished them off, made a cream sauce. On the pan, you'll see everything. Delicious. So, thanks for joining me. This is a great steak video for you guys, you steak lovers out there. Let's check this out. All right, here are our ingredients for our pan, cast iron pan fried steaks. I got a couple beautiful, about an inch and a half thick New York strips. I'll be using kosher salt and fresh ground pepper, minced garlic and minced shallots. I have some half and half and some beef broth for our pan sauce and of course some butter. Excellent. Let's turn on that, warm up that cast iron and get these steaks rolling. All right, as our cast iron is getting warmed up, I went ahead and I turned on my oven at 400 degrees. Let's go ahead and season these steaks. Beautiful, look at these guys. Excellent, you know what, and they're so thick, I'm gonna go ahead and do all the sides. Beautiful looking steaks. Oh yeah. Some fresh cracked pepper. Gotta use fresh cracked pepper. You know if you want to elevate your cooking at home instantly, that's what you do. You use your fresh ground black pepper and some nice kosher salt, some Himalayan sea salt. Get rid of that uh, table salt and up your salt and pepper and that'll instantly up your, up your cooking. Beautiful. Cast iron's almost ready. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit more. Right, my cast iron is hot. I added just enough oil to cover the bottom of the pan. And we've reached smoke point, so there's pus of smoke telling me the oil is nice and hot. So let's, let's put them in the pan. Oh yeah, you want to hear that sizzle. Go ahead and use a splash guard. We're going to sear them for a good two, three minutes. All right, let's take a look at these steaks. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Oh, yes. 
<laughs> All right, we're gonna let them go for another three minutes or so. All right, the steaks are ready to go. Just put them in my oven that I preheated at 400 degrees. In they go. Put them in there for about five, six minutes. Should be good to go. Right around medium, 135. I just pulled them out of the oven. They're beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and let them rest on our on our plate. All right, let's start with a dab of butter. Garlic, the minced garlic. The shallots. Swept them down. Since we're using a cast iron skillet, we're not using any um, any wine, so we're going to just deglaze with some beef broth. Ooh, my cream is starting to scald in the back here. Okay. Let's bring this up to temp. Alright, so I went ahead and added the cream and she's just reducing down. So I'm just going to reduce her until she gets the right consistency. Alright, looks like we're just about there. Mm. Let's finish it off with a dab of butter. Oh wow, just a little more salt, fresh cracked pepper, and that's it. Steaks have been resting, they're ready to roll. Let's give this a taste. All right, let's cut right into her. Beautiful. All right, let's give it a taste. I got her medium really well. Got a beautiful crust. Let's see. With some of that cast iron cream sauce. Oh my. It's a nice steak right there. Mmm. Mmm. Man, that was good. Sometimes my local grocery store sells prime for choice. <laughs> that was delicious. Super simple, super delicious, 
and a cast iron, one of my favorite ways to cook a, cook a steak. And remember, when you use a cast iron, make sure it's properly seasoned and give it a good 15 minutes to heat up to get that crust going. Use that kosher salt so those flakes will melt into the steak as you sear it and create that crust. Excellent. Well, thank you for watching and stopping by. I'll have an announcement here coming up soon. I got a new special announcement coming up. So, anyway, thank you for stopping by. We'll see you guys here next time at The Guy Show. Goodbye, everybody.